Yes. Who would like to hear silly anecdotes? Yes. Can I hear about Hops and Heather? Hops and Heather? Yes. Okay. Um, as in, so this is a Scottish beer. Heather grows in Scotland. Um, I imagine that at some point in time, the Scots were making beer with Hops and Heather together. Um, and I am fairly certain that Heather was an ingredient in many, many groups. But other than that, like styles of beer that would have Hops and Heather together, this kind, like a, your, any kind of Scottish ale, might have them together. Um, but unfortunately, no, I don't have a silly anecdote that relates Hops and Heather. They're alliterative. <laughs> All right, Brett, what do you want? Wasn't the introduction of hops a uh, heinous Protestant Reformation attempt to get psychotropic products out of Gruet? Uh, maybe. No, yeah, no, totally. Um, so many of the places that were still holding on to the Grutrecht were, were, were Catholic monarchies, and they still had this whole sort of like divine mandate. Um, of, of, of rulership. And so as the Protestant Reformation was happening, um, many of these places that became Protestant were like, no, down with the Gutrecht, we gotta put hops and stuff because they won't get you high. Um, and because it, overall, hops are way, 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 way more efficient, like miraculously more efficient at doing the job that the Gruet did originally. Like they did introduce the Gruet in order to um, balance out the sweetness of them all, to preserve the beer, to make it a little bit more shelf stable. And so all of these herbs that they were tossing in there did all that, but not near as efficiently as using this one sole plant. Like, hops did everything that a group did, and more. Yes? Have you read uh, Group, The Science of Alcohol? Have I ever had Group without alcohol? No. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever read, it's a book. Proof the Science of Alcohol? Proof the Science of Alcohol. No, I have not. You should totally read it. I'll write it down. Anybody else? All right, cool. I guess I'm done. Yes. Hold on. Thank you, Andrew. Um, there's a couple in other places, but it's, it's very rare. Um, we don't pay our presenters. They all volunteer their awesome information. Um, and so if you're feeling generous and kind, you can buy the presenter a beer. Uh, they love that. So Andrew's a presenter, JT is a presenter, and Chris is a presenter. Um, and if you want to be their BFF, I mean, buy a drink. Go for it. I forgot to say that during these Middle Ages, when the, uh, the the monasteries were the center of brewing, people were drinking about a gallon and a half of beer a day. A gallon and a half of beer a day. Yeah, buy Andrew a drink, and he will give you more information. All right, on that note, we are going to take a short intermission. Uh, beer, bathroom, please come back, because Chris is going to put some stuff up on the big screen for us, and it's going to be awesome. So five, ten minutes, come on back.